with such a, a huge win uh, against Florida, how important is it to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, a mental break, kind of get mentally back and back up after such an emotional rivalry rivalry game? Um, I think winning the game is enough, you know, to get us ready to go in the next week and try to get another winning season, you know, and uh, get this ball game. I think winning, like I said, was a, I think that's enough to keep everybody motivated already. And, it's just focusing on the next game and just getting to practice and making sure we're doing our best to be on the same page and just keep keep playing hard as we have for the past few weeks. At three and six, the mantra was let's get these next three, get bowl eligible, one more to go. Do you guys kind of feel that light at the end of the time you know, of bowl eligibility? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I don't think we let up. You know, it doesn't matter what team we're playing. You know, we show our respect by playing as hard as we possibly can, no matter who it is. And I think that for the most part, everybody's pretty much bought in about practicing hard, you know, being on the same page, taking care of responsibilities, and just pretty much getting ready for this uh, this weekend. Does it help the, the, the defense when you look at the opponent coming up and see that they scored 50 in the in, the, in their last game? Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> but um, yeah, we we pretty much look at them all the time. You know, we we know they have a great offense. You know, they, they're definitely moving the ball on teams and stuff like that, but. You know, that's why we watch film and stuff like that. We just, you know, just try to find out weaknesses and some of our strengths that we can take, you know, take advantage of. And But we, we know we're, we're facing a pretty good team, so we, that's why I said we're, we're not going to let up. We're still going to do what we have to do. And they showed it on the broadcast for the first time. I've, I've seen it going up and down the sidelines this year. Tell me a little bit about the defensive board that you guys have. Oh, the takeaway board or the three and out board? You know, it's just it's like a little, it's like a thing that we do is like, Someone makes a big play, like an interception or something like that, sign off on the board. You know, we try to mark as many as we can to know how far we come, or, you know, where, where, where we came from. And it's just been making everybody want to, you know, make those big plays. And it's just a, it's a, it's a, new, it's a new tradition. You know, we just started something new. Well, what's the excitement like for a guy who gets to go sign his name on it? Oh, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it seems small, but it, it's pretty big, you know. It's, it's, it gives the respect, you know, you have the respect of everyone, you know, and, and it just keeps you, what's the, I don't know what I'm looking for right now, but like, I guess you said excitement, I, for like a better term, and um, definitely keeps you in the game, most definitely. Does it add a little element of fun in the in kind of the heat of battle? Yes, yeah, in a way it's kind of like, you know, we don't really have like a, t like a um, turn of a chain or anything like that, like Miami, but. But yeah, it's pretty much like a little bit, a little something like that, if you want to like to be honest.